welcome to Cooking with Lucius Pondexter. I'm your host, Lucius Pondexter. Anyways, today we're going to be preparing a very special recipe that I came up with that features Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. But first, I want to give you a little backstory on how I came up with the idea for this recipe. It all started about two years ago when I came home from grocery shopping. I pulled into the driveway and I left the car outside because it was supposed to rain that day and I wanted to get a free wash. Oh, I left my cell phone in the car. Ow, my foot stuck! Oh no! Oh no, the door! The keys! Yes, this might work. Waste of Worcestershire sauce. Wait a second. Oh yeah, here we go. Mm. Oh man, Worcestershire sauce is so good with bread. And that's how Lee and Perrins both saved my life and inspired my recipe for my soon-to-be world-famous, not even yet locally famous, Cheddarshire biscuits. All right. So first, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. While I'm making the biscuits, you're going to see a list of ingredients over here, and as each ingredient is being utilized in the recipe, it will be highlighted on the list. First, you need to sift two cups of self-rising flour. Add in one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of sugar. Man, I really could use a whisk right now. <laughs> Next, we're going to mix the dry ingredients together. Add a quarter cup of vegetable shortening to the flour. And you want to cut in the shortening until you have small clumps that are about the size of a grain of rice. And in a separate bowl, mix together one cup of buttermilk, two-thirds a cup of cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, that is. And last but not least, you're going to add in six tablespoons of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. This is the magical piece of the puzzle that really makes these biscuits shine at dinner time. So stir these ingredients together and then pour them into the bowl with the flour. And next, fold the mixture from the bottom up to create a lump of dough. And one good thing about using Worcestershire sauce in this is that it gives the dough a nice brown tint. And once the entire lump of dough is brown, then you know it's mixed together well. Place your lump of dough on a clean floured surface and sprinkle a little flour on top. And next, you're going to knead your dough. And once you have your dough properly shaped, you're going to roll it down to about a half inch of thickness. And next, you're going to cut your biscuits with a biscuit cutter and then place them on a baking sheet. And once you only have enough dough left for one more biscuit, you want to hand make it. And usually I like to name this last biscuit. In this case, I'm going to call this one Patrick. And finally, put the biscuits in the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. Or you can just watch them and take them out when they look like they're done. And don't forget to cut off your oven. Many lighthouse keepers have burned down their lighthouses making biscuits and forgetting to cut off the oven. And now I'm going to add some melted butter to the top of the biscuits to help retain moisture and add a little flavor and shine to them. And now the biscuits are ready to eat. What? What's that, Patrick? You want me to try you first? And you can add a dollop of sour cream to the top. I personally prefer it that way. I think it accentuates the flavor of the biscuit. And there you have it, my now somewhat famous Cheddarshire biscuits featuring Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. My name is Lucius Pondexter. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've enjoyed the recipe. I'll see you later. All right, so first you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Celsius. So. <laughs> <laughs> and begin by sifting two metric tons of flour. Cups. Excuse me, two cups of flour. <laughs> All right, next we're going to add in the oregano. Uh, hold up, it, it's, it's oregano. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's oregano, dude. They make it in Oregon. <laughs> and while the biscuits are cooking, we're going to go ahead and melt some butter. That's an apple. I, th I thought they made apple butter out of apples. That doesn't mean an apple is made of butter. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not. <laughs> Whatever, dude. All right, here we have a butter. It's not a butter, it's just butter. <laughs> and once you have your dough properly shaped, you're going to give it one good wallet right down the center. Dude, I've never made biscuits before. I hope nobody gets sick. <laughs>
Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to my cooking show. <laughs> <laughs>